Octonus. Hey, Octo Cadets! Welcome back to Octonauts HQ for a new edition of Octo News, which we're calling Sharkdo News. In fact, it's Shark Week. So this week, we're going to focus on these incredible undersea creatures and what makes them so unique. We're also going to be unboxing Quasi's Gup of choice, the Gup B, in Tiger Shark mode. Oh yeah. So you need to sharpen your teeth and strap in those fins. It's time to get chomping. Say ah. Uh. Ah! No, not ah. Just ah. So Octocadets, did you know that there are over 400 different species of sharks in our oceans? And to help you learn more about these awesome predators, we've created the Shark Week chart poster. Cool, right? And do you want one for your room? Well, all you gotta do is visit facebook.com, like us, download and print at home. Now look at all these sharks that we're gonna learn about today. In fact, let's start with the swell shark. Did you know that when the swell shark is scared, it can suck in water to make itself too big for other fish to eat? Now that's a cool trick. Uh, he's called a swell shark. When he feels threatened, he swallows enough water to swell up like a balloon, and then... Yes, I know what happens then, Shellington. The great white shark. Great white sharks are known to travel long distances across entire oceans in search of food. And in fact, they have no swim bladder to keep them buoyant in water. So they must swim constantly or die. They eat everything from fish to otters to other sharks. And just like the tiger shark, it has been known to eat things that it can't digest. That's horrible. I think I'd rather have the penguin. Now, let's talk about the cookie cutter shark. The cookie cutter shark will bite anything it mistakes for whale blubber, even parts of submarines. Its bite leaves a hole, just like you guessed it, a cookie cutter. Its belly actually glows, and when seen from below, this shark resembles a small black fish. And the coolest thing about them, when their teeth fall out, they'll actually eat them for their nutrients. Mmm, tasty. See, Tulip, nobody can resist a bite of your fish biscuits. <laughs> How about the dwarf lantern shark? The dwarf lantern shark is the smallest shark and has a row of glowing lights on its stomach. The dwarf lantern shark lives in the lower depths near the bottom of the twilight zone and the top of the midnight zone. And they are very cute if I do say so myself. Well, I've never seen a shark as small as you. <laughs> Everybody says that. The white tip shark. Did you know the white tip shark have pilot fish that follow them around and never get eaten. The pilot fish clean the shark and the shark keeps the fish safe. The pilot fish will stay with the shark throughout its life and typically travel together as constant companions. It will even hold its mouth open and let the pilot fish clean its teeth. You're just the little fella I needed to clean my teeth. Hey, <laughs> I'm glad to help. Next up, the lemon shark. Lemon sharks have special electric sensors on their noses that help them sense if food is near. They prefer shallow areas and are typically found resting on the bottom of the seabed. Unlike some other sharks, they have very poor eyesight and cannot see well to find their food. However, the sensors on their noses tend to help them out. Follow me! My nose knows where to go! And now it's time to talk about my most favorite shark, the whale shark. The whale shark is the largest fish in the sea, but it's actually not a whale, it's just a really big shark. Whale sharks are a kind of filter feeding shark and the largest of the fish species. The heaviest whale shark was recorded at 36 tons. 
They open their giant mouths and filter plankton out of the water to eat. Octocadets, they are so cool. Ha <laughs> ha, cute little beast. <laughs> Not so little. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, the hammerhead shark. Did you know hammerheads have 360 degree vision thanks to the placement of their eyes on their heads? They are typically a light gray color with a greenish tint. Their bellies are white so they can camouflage into the ocean floor to sneak up on their prey. During the day, they form schools of sometimes over a hundred. But at night, just like other sharks, they become solitary hunters. Bye. Thanks again. See you later. Bye-bye. Take care of yourselves. Good luck, mates. Adios. All right. So what a great chart to help us learn about all these sharks, Octo Cadets. But you know what? We actually have a toy we still have to unbox. So come on, let's do this. Now this is the guppy in tiger shark mode. <laughs> it comes with Quasi in a cool shark suit, hammerhead shark, and of course, the guppy in tiger shark mode. And this gup also does something really cool. It has sound effects and phrases when you press on the back fin. Tiger shark <laughs> Hi, Quasi. How ah, cool. Tweet created this tiger shark mode for the Gup B. And did you know the tiger shark is named because of the striped pattern on their bodies? This coloration makes them hard to detect in the water. They are fast swimmers that start off real slow but then they can catch prey in a burst of speed. They have great eyesight, even in the dark, and an excellent sense of smell. They also have an electro sense, which allows them to detect small electrical signals created by movements of their prey. They're also called the waste basket of the sea because they will eat pretty much anything. Um, was I supposed to eat that? Uh, no. Let's open this up. Cadets, and we hope that what you learned today will help you take a bite out of the mystery surrounding these amazing creatures. And if you want to watch more Octonauts videos, make sure to subscribe to the Octonauts channel on YouTube. And we will see you next time, Octo Cadets. Jump, 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 Shark Week! Shark Week! <laughs>